The DGK skins have arrived on HOK and they look amazing. And how do they fare up against our very own? Are they good? Perhaps even better. Well, let's check it out, shall we? Hi guys, Kazuki here and in this video let's compare JJK skins from HOK and MLBB and find out which ones are better. To make it out as objective and neutral as possible, I will give it points based on few criteria. Whichever skills get the most point wins. The criteria are visual appeal and creativity plus value. Let me explain all of them. First is visual appeal which has model quality. How well modeled and detailed is the skin? Texture quality. Are the texture sharp, clear and free of artifacts? Color palette. Is the color scheme pleasing and fitting the JJK character? Are they closest to the anime or not? Particle effects. Are the special effects, examples, spell animations and weapon trails visually impressive and distinct? Overall aesthetic. Does the skin have cohesive and visually striking design? The visual appeal gives you 5 points, each segment giving 1 point. The next one is creativity plus value. Unique design. Does the skin offer a fresh and innovative takes on the character? Thematic consistency. Does the skin fit well with JJK? Price to quality ratio. Is the skin's price justified by its quality and features? This gives you 3 points, the total points are 8, whichever skins gets the most points wins. In the end, let's also add up both points and see which game takes the cake. Okay. The first skin we are going to be comparing today is Itadori Yuji. First, we will start by looking at Yuji Itadori's skill. In HOK, Yuji enters with a dark intense aura that instantly gives him a more menacing AG appearance. The high definition graphics makes it feel like he's ready to throw down with just a look. On the other hand, MLBB takes a brighter anime inspired approach, making Yuji looks like he's stepped right off a JJK scene. The colors are warm and vibrant, and the animation captures his heroic vibe perfectly. It's almost like the two games are competing for different interpretation. HOK brings the darker, more serious tone, while MLBB leans into a classic anime film, which feels very authentic to the JJK universe. Even down the dialogues, Yuji speaks. Kurume no type wa Jennifer Lawrence. Ah, Jennifer Lawrence. She's my type too. My best friend. Moving on to Yuji's first skill, we get more of this split in style. In HOK, his first skill is high energy and packed with impressive particle effects. There is a glowing energy trail following every strike, making it feel powerful and intense. Almost like you are watching him unleash a serious beatdown. MLBB's approach, meanwhile, goes for fluidity and anime-like crispness. When Yuji uses his first skill in MLBB, the movements are fast, sharp and polished. With a certain brightness that feels true to the JJK combat style, HOK focuses more on raw impact and power, while MLBB captures that anime-style smoothness that fans love. The second skill is where things start to get interesting. HOK's Yuji executes a move that both dramatic and clean with even more refined effects and a darker edge. The animations are sharp and each movement looks calculated, making it feel like a real battle move. MLBB's second skill in contrast has a lighter, flashier energy that reflects Yuji's personality. The animation is vivid and a bit quicker with a fun, slightly more playful tone. It's a perfect fit for those who love the fast-paced, vibrant feel of MLBB's style. Both games are really trying to showcase different sides of Yuji's gear. HOK's is intense and battle-ready, while MLBB's shows off his character with an anime touch. Now let's talk about Ultimates, because both games seriously went all out. HOK's ultimate for Yuji is powerful with high quality effects that make each strike look heavy. 
when he uses his ultimate the screen fills with particles and effects giving the ultimate a high stakes feel it's like you are watching yuji go all out in a real battle and it's seriously immersive i'm a bit disappointed that they didn't add sukuna mlbb's ultimate though it's just amazing having sukuna along with his voice lines takes this skin to the next level let's not even forget about the skills and domain here aren't they amazing and the white cloak is just the chef kiss in this skin all right let's break down the final rating for yuji's skin and see which games takes the crown starting with visual appeal hok comes in strong with model quality the detail is razor sharp making yuji look like he's ready for an epic fight But then MLBB's color palette swoops in, bringing that classic vibrant anime feel we all know and love. It's almost like Yuji stepped straight out of JJK. For particle effects, HOK delivers an intense experience with heavy hitting visuals in each move. But MLBB's overall aesthetic brings everything together in smoother, more cohesive look, capturing Yuji's spirit perfectly. Now moving to creativity and value. MLBB pulls it with the unique design of aiding Sukuna, giving fans an extra treat. And for thematic consistency, MLBB stays true to JJK, aligning each skill to the anime's vibe. Finally on price to quality, MLBB seals the deal with unmatched value. MLBB just gives you so much more for what you are playing. ML definitely wins here. Final score: MLBB five points, HOK three points. In the end, MLBB takes the win for Yuji, giving us a skin that feels like pure JJK magic. All right, now let's dive into the next comparison: Gojo Satoru. We all know his character iconic abilities and style, so let's see how each game handles it. Starting with Gojo's intro, HOK really brings out an elite, mysterious vibe. The animations are ultra sleek, and the lightning effect are dramatic, giving him that untouchable aura. It's exactly what you would expect from Gojo. On the other hand, MLBB keeps things faithful to the anime style. Blending Gojo's light-hearted charm with an epic entrance that makes you feel like you are meeting the actual anime character. MLBB leans into his personality with a lighter anime-centric touch, while HOK captures the depth and intensity. Now let's move into the skill effects. Starting with Gojo's first skill. In HOK, every strike is loaded with energy, and the particle effects are on point, bringing that mind-bending effect that feels powerful and mystifying. When he activates his first skill, there's this swirling energy that feels both controlled and unpredictable, which reminds me of Goshen. MLBB's first skill, however, brings out a brighter, sharper look. The movement feels quick, polished, and closer to Gojo's playful style, while still keeping that power-packed punch. For the second skill, HOK keeps up the high-quality, darker-toned visuals, almost as if he's manipulating reality itself. The effects are cinematic, and you can feel the precision in every animation. But I have a question. Why the hell is Gojo going underground? Educate me in the comment section, my fellow weebs. MLBB's version, however, goes for a crisp anime style attack, with each move embodying Gojo's confident and playful nature. The vibe is lighter but just as impressive, with smooth, fast-paced fakes that feels right out of JJK. HOK's Gojo leans into the mystical, while MLBB captures the anime's essence. You can see that in the curse energy itself. 
Now when it comes to Gojo's ultimate, both games clearly went all out. In HOK, the ultimate is visually heavy and full of energy, giving it that high stakes feel. You see particle energy flows and it feels like Gojo's releasing his full power. MLBB though takes a more cinematic approach, infusing the ultimate with Gojo's classic moves. MLBB also leans into Gojo's more playful side by using bright visuals that almost feels like you are watching an epic anime moment. Both versions bring something to the table. But MLBB's integration of his signature moves gives it an edge for true fans. Alright, let's rate Gojo's skin in each category to see which version takes the crown. Starting with visual appeal, HOK stands out with model quality and texture details, giving Gojo a high definition realistic look. HOK 1 point. But MLBB color palette and overall aesthetic brings out that enemy charm fans love with bright colors and fluid motion that makes Gojo looks closer to the JJK roots. When it comes to particle effect, HAK ages slightly ahead with its more intense visuals, especially in the ultimate. Switching over to creativity and value, HOK gets points for a unique design, takes on Gojo, giving players a fresh perspective. However, in terms of thematic consistency, MLBB is the clear winner here. Every skill and animation feels like it was lifted straight from JJK, making it truly immersive experience for fans. For the price to quality ratio, it's a tie. Each version brings its own appeal depending on what you are after. If you want that anime authenticity, MLBB's Gojo is for you. But if you want more dramatic, high-definition experience, HOK might just be your choice. Final score for Gojo. MLBB 3 points, HOK 4 points. Winner, HOK for Gojo. After adding up both points, the winner is MLBB by 8 points, HOK is really close with 7 points. So guys, what do you think? Do you agree with my decision? Which skin do you think are better? Or do you also want Maki-san to be added in the game? Comment down all your answers below. So that will be all for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Keep supporting Kazuki Official.